so we're gonna do a little vlog on here. Hi. You're, sh you're shooting right now. Look at this cutie pie. Wanted to officially introduce you guys to Aya. Say hi. Hi, little boy. Oh, she's changed so much so since cute. since she was born two weeks ago. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of like a day in a life here in the crazy Mensur household. Um, she's been crying because she's hungry, so we're gonna feed her because priorities. She's a growing girl. She's gained a pound since she was born. Yay! Look at this Yay! cute little outfit you have on. Yes, I've been torturing her tons by putting cute outfits, but really they've only been to the doctor's office because that's the only time she's left the house because the doctors told us to literally keep her home because everyone's sick right now. So my um, extent of dressing her up has been for doctor's offices and this vlog. <laughs> All right, so let's go to her nursery. I wanna show you guys a part of it, but uh, I'm gonna do a full nursery tour whenever it's done. I am still wa waiting for my glider, my side table, so I don't wanna like show everything, um, but you guys can get a glimpse of the nursery right now. Yay! Look how cute this nursery is. It filled up real quick. There's still some boxes we <laughs> haven't uh, fully, fully opened up and gone through yet. And um, of course, there's Rarzi's. She needs to be uh, patrolling everything. Yeah, she loves her sister. She's been amazing, actually. Um, I was really worried. I thought she was going to be super jealous, but she's been really cute. Um, I don't know if you guys follow us on so Instagram, but I've been posting pictures of Aya and Rari together because the cuteness level kills me. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. We're getting all crew with the Lammy. Rars. Say hi. Doing, Rars? Say hi. What are you doing? We've been spending a lot of time here. Um, this is a Skip Hop product, which I love. Um, we've been doing a lot of tummy time because the doctor said start with the tummy time early. So we've been doing tummy time and then she just likes the colors and all that, you know, because she can't see so much right now, but we're slowly introducing um, colors and shapes and different things to her. And I'm going to show you guys a super quick glimpse of how cute everything is. The when, not done nursery. The not done <laughs> nursery. There's her cute little bed and the lammy that Auntie Ani got. Aww. So cute. The boppy has been awesome um, because we've been, I'm like super paranoid about get, having her get a flathead. Um, There's the boppy. Because I have a flathead and I just discovered it after how many years? <laughs> after 30 years of life, I discovered I have a flathead, guys. So I'm super paranoid and the boppy I realized is really, really soft. Um, so it won't like allow her to get a flathead. Can we talk about how skinny Nora looks? She, like, she oh. looks like she hasn't even given birth. I'm not gonna lie, I fit into my pre-pregnancy jeans. What? <laughs> Spongles. But I'm totally wearing a corset now, so don't be fooled, guys. <laughs> it's sucking it all in. Um, but definitely, if you guys, you guys, a lot of you have been asking about how I lost my baby weight or how I stayed in shape. It was honestly a blessing in disguise having um, diabetes during it because I changed my diet up so much. And she you, ate so healthy. You, you don't realize how crappy you eat until you can't eat that crap anymore for the health of your baby. Yeah. So I cleaned up my diet and I've been maintaining it now because it's actually makes me feel better. It gives me more energy to wake up in the middle of the night for this munchkin. Look at this little cutie pie. She's been great with the feeding. You she's, guys, she's such a chill baby. Nothing like mom. <laughs> I know, right? She's all she Jonathan. after dad, for she's, sure. She's all Jonathan right now. Look at her. Hi, Jonathan. And I'm gonna show you guys a, uh, like a little picture of Jonathan when he was younger. His mom sent and anything I was claiming, I lost immediately because... Nora kept trying to convince us <laughs> that the baby looks just like her. Aya looks nothing like Nora and she looks just like Jonathan. She Sorry. does. I saw the childhood photo. I'm like, oh man, I lose. Yep. Their carbon copy of each other. And she has a little fun fact. She has long legs. She I mean, uh, feet. <laughs> she has big ass feet, guys. <laughs> and little big arms, big oh, hands. So Hi. You guys can't get enough of her. She is so cute. Hi, Munchkin. Hi. Say hi. She's always just chilling and sleeping. Hi. 
She's been super, super chill. Um, her schedule, she, she wakes up at midnight um, for a feeding and then again at four o'clock. So that's been really, really cool. Um, and then again at like around six, seven o'clock. So I'm lucky she's not waking up every hour, or every two hours um, because she is a chill baby. She's super, super chill. Like dad. Look at her now. Nothing, chill. I know, nothing like mom. I know she was hungry and now she's not apparently. No. <laughs> Red Munchkin. She's seriously like it's been such a crazy experience. Like we trip out, we watch her, like we'll put her down, and we'll stare at her. We're like, we created that. I like, know, isn't it weird? It's the trippiest thing ever. The fact that like we created that. And, like I get super emotional about it, and I don't know. It just gets me really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited for like all the milestones that are gonna come this year. So many. Yeah, I know, and I witnessed it with Sebastian, so it's like awesome yeah. that I'm gonna witness it with this Munchkin too. Our little baby's growing up already. Oh, look at the attitude she gives. <laughs> She's like, Mom, should I go back to sleep? Sorry. All right, so you guys, um, the first two weeks Aya was born, she was sleeping in my bedroom, and it was really nice and um i but everyone told me my doctor told me it's time to teach her how to sleep in her own bed or else you're gonna yep. pay for it later on um so we introduced her bed to her and it was it's been the hardest thing having her sleep in her own room in her own crib was it harder on you or i uh, it's definitely harder on me um i have the camera set up and i watch her 24 7 like to see if i see her breathing and i know a lot of people have been like that they've been messaging me like i'm like is she breathing is she breathing is her chest going up and then i wake my husband in the middle of the night i'm like hey, 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 hey. is she breathing is she breathing because <laughs> i'm not next door i'm actually like on the other side of the house so it's like super super hard being so far away from her but um i know in the long run it's going to be better a lot of you guys gave me great tips on instagram um one of you guys messaged me saying keep like a shirt of yours nearby um it's your smell that she misses and that's why she's waking up um, that's a great tip. Yeah, so that's what I did last night, and she slept in longer increments. All right, can you miss mommy smell? Um, so, I am like, but that's been the hardest thing this week, I want to say, is leaving her in her own crib for at nighttime only. Daytime, she's with me all day. All day, all day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was her, her agreeing. And then she, fun fact, was born with a full set of hair. You guys, she has better hair than all of us. And this my doctor's actually super funny. Um, as she was coming out, um, he's like, Nora, so do you want some braids? Do you, what do you want? What hairstyle do you want? Because, and I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, give me your hand. And he put my hand on her head as she was coming out. And we felt this, I'm like, oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, but she's changed so much. We're doing our um, photo shoot, with newborn photo shoot with her this weekend. Super excited about that. So stay tuned for those pictures. You guys, something really funny. I know a lot of you guys, first of all, I want to start, sorry, backtrack. Um, all the stuff that Ani and I post on Instagram um, about motherhood and questions or facts, it's it's been awesome because we feel like we have like a group and I was explaining this to Jonathan last night and um, it's just been really cool getting advice from you guys or your your experiences because we have been first time, we are first time moms. So hearing other people's experiences, oh, it's normal, all of that. I feel like we our Instagram page is kind of like a Facebook mom, mom group, <laughs> right? It's a support system. It is a support system and everyone's been so helpful DMing us, messaging us. It's, it's just, thank you, keep doing it. <laughs> um, as far as her feeding schedule goes, she's been awesome. Um, I know Ani had a lot of difficulty with Sebastian. He was just like, at two months, no. He like he would like, literally- I hate milk. Like, <laughs> that's what he used to do, which I thought was the cutest thing as an aunt, but Ani didn't like that. <laughs> Obviously. It was very hard giving him formula. He hated it. Um, but her poops, you guys, I have to say, have been hilarious because I put her down to change her, and then she's like, "Hold on, mom. Jokes on you. There's I got some more." more. <laughs> 
And obviously I think that's the cutest thing ever. So she gives me a lot of great poop on to work with. <laughs> She's a little poop monster. She is, and then she pees on us, but obviously uh, we think it's the cutest thing in the world. The first time I changed her diaper, she peed all over me. And then she continued to poop, and then she continued to poop. Every time you put a new diaper on, she's like, oh And Laura God. left so hard. <laughs> yeah, of course, because I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, anyways, so this has been my first couple of weeks back, you guys. It's been awesome. Um, your support has been awesome. All your comments that you guys left on my delivery vlog has been awesome. Um, it was super, the whole thing has been super, 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 super emotional for me. Um, and I've been just like a ray of sunshine because of the happiness. Again, why am I so emotional? It's killing me. <laughs> um, but thanks for following mine and Ani's journey. And we have a lot more for you guys. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more vlogs. I can't wait to do the vlog when Sebastian is introduced to oh Aya for the first time. Um, yeah, that's going to be in a month or two. Um, we're super excited about that. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, statements, leave them in the comments. We're definitely reading them and um, love you guys. Say bye, Aya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.